Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Kanok Yokai movie number 9. Uh, this is called Mirai Fukuin. Uh, movie number 8 was quite interesting. It was it served as an epilogue to like all of the other uh, movies and it was quite interesting because we like got to know a lot of facts which obviously like I had no like I did not even think about. Like there was uh, a different kind of entity inside Shiki and like the male Shiki uh, besides them which was like which is the origin or like the main one and like uh, and the other two did not have any kind of inkling to that and it was quite interesting like uh, the whole like basically throughout the whole movie they were standing and like talking and that was like the main interesting part even though they were like just standing and talking for like 30 minutes they like uh, imparted a lot of informations which kind of like makes sense uh, like a few things make sense now because of that and like it was a nice little epilogue like unlike uh, like the epilogues that I've seen of other kind of animes and all like usually in an epilogue we see like people what can I say the aftermath of whatever happened them living happily ever after stuff like those and I expected that from movie 8 but it was like interesting like they like did not do any of that and kind of like uh, what can I say um, what, uh, like revealed a little secret which none of us knew and it was quite interesting and I'm, I was quite surprised uh, like by the nature of that movie and I enjoyed it a lot because I usually like enjoy these type of uh, episodes or uh, movies in which like they like uh, rely solely on the dialogue and even though it was like a bit complicated but I kind of got what they were trying to say and I was like uh, enjoyed myself a lot in that movie okay so I have no idea which what this movie is about uh, when this takes place or what so we'll probably see this uh, like uh, like while seeing I'll probably get to know everything so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with movie number nine Kano Kyokai uh, Mirai Fuki okay I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one, go. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Two words. Present and the end. Future I saw. A slave to it. Cast off of a vulgar god. What? Who is this talking? Okay, well, <laughs> that was. I have no idea who that was or. Shiki, isn't it? What the? Bomber man? <laughs> what? Okay, so when does this take place? Damn, the animation. Hmm. Oh no, a little kid. Okay. Oh my, what are those? Uh, are those like marbles? What are those? My god, it like hit her throat. Oh. 
Okay. My God. Okay, so he kind of like put those marbles or whatever those things were inside the bomb and after it exploded it kind of like scattered around and pierced everything on its way. Okay, so what happened to Shiki? Seo Shizune. Okay, a new character, isn't it? Oh, she has the same uh, like uh, dress or uniform as uh, Azaka. So same school, I'm guessing. Hmm. Okay, this is, uh, I mean, this must be quite uh, like recently because the animation is a lot, I mean, extremely good, I can see. Like the art style and everything is quite fresh. Whole half an hour to the next verse. Okay. <laughs> okay, another new character. I mean, good father, wow. The politeness. Ojo Sama School, that's why. New kid. Top. Okay. <laughs> How about the what, what about the size? Like you're quite tall. So she also has that power. So the other guy who was like in the intro, was that like somehow related to her? Like her brother or someone else, some of like some relative of her? What suicide garden? What did I see that? What was that? There's something written in that, like... Or was it my mistake? Two of me! Oh, okay. Two different vantage points. Okay, that's quite interesting. Okay, she's more like a observer. Uh, 
Oh, something must have happened in the future. Like after seeing the dog, she must have saw something. Hmm, empty bus. Okay, people are getting in. Okay, it's quite crowded now. Mifune hmm. Station. Okay, I think this is a power. Okay. Oh no, damn. It was that guy who bumped into her. Oh no. <laughs> Cam artist looking. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh no, he's not going to listen. <laughs> Is there something in the bag? Who is this? Kokto? Yeah, Mikia. <laughs> Curious stranger. Okay, I think he, he she has stalled enough. Now I don't think the accident is going to happen. Hmm. Well. Well, that's good enough. Well, yeah, obviously she is like concerned because she herself has saw that vision. So, 
Oh, I thought she was going to like follow them. Oh no. Okay. So, yep. I think Kokuto has like handled it properly. It's fine. Like. Hmm, it's okay. Okay, so. Well, turns out you can't change the future. <laughs> okay, so sh she knows, uh, like her, like Azaka. Fire extinguisher. Oh, what is he doing? Like Oh, so okay, so I thought he was probably like related to her, so no, like their names are completely different. Okay. Okay, so he has ocular powers, but uh, Seo, I don't know if her the nature of her power is ocular or not. And obviously, um, this guy is like kind of like a terrorist. Okay. Damn. Well, this guy is a problem. Okay. Damn, he is like... Oh boy, well... Huh? 
So like these two have kind of like a similar power but they're kind of different in the nature but also kind of the same. Oh. What <laughs> she keeps all dressed up. Okay, so this is like uh, the kimono from before. And she's gone. Oh, is that the Bomberman? Hmm. Oh no, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a Bomberman. And here we go. Well. Excuse <laughs> oh god Yeah, that's an, oh, okay. So that is how like he caught her, like with. Oh, damn. Okay, so was she like trying to kill Shiki? That's why like he like made that kind of trap. Like, uh, trying to kill two birds with one stone, like, blowing up the place and also, like, killing Shiki. Ah, uh, okay. Well, Seo also kind of has that power, so... Oh, so this happens after that, okay. Well, yeah, she is like a lot younger than him, so... <laughs>
Okay. Well, he has some circumstances, so... <laughs> Um, people don't do stuff like that just for pity. Yeah, obviously. Like, what would come by lying? Yeah. Well, truth is stranger than fiction. Hmm. Again, August second. Wow, this is like going fourth and written statement. Hmm. Coke just like what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's like acting like uh, what kind of He's having fun with this. Hmm. Mifune's mother. Street fortune teller. Mother of Mifune. Help others avoid tragedy. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's kind of nice. Hmm. Oh, so like, yeah, she's obviously like the suspect kind of like falls on her. Okay. Wow, she's like sitting in an alleyway where like no one comes.
<laughs> what? <laughs> yep, she saw through Shiki. People might suspect her as well, but obviously Nikia won't suspect her because middle school. Silver Lion Hmm Well, yeah, it is kind of like what can I say like you're seeing what's going to happen in the future that itself is like a big burden on your self like something inevitable even if it happens you're unable to do anything yeah like this like this situation Yeah, it is like double the sadness. Like you got get to know what's going to happen, and after it happens, you're like again presented with the fact that you've been unable to do anything, and like double or triple the sadness. It's wrong to even say twice, it might be thrice or like more than that. Because there's a lot of layers to it. Oh no. Oh 
Well, she has like powers to see the future. Nothing will happen to her. <laughs> oh no. And the bridges. Always the bridges. <laughs> Always the bridges, like <laughs> Damn. Three days. Okay, that's quite powerful. Wow, one month a year. Damn. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah that is kind of like mm, Yeah, mm, that is kind of like scary You're like, like if you are unable to stop it, you will blame yourself. Oh yeah, he kind of bumped into her, didn't he? Unable to like, yeah, change it. Yeah, definitely. This is like, uh, <laughs> hmm. Just about to see. Prediction and evaluation. So just like see this too. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hmm. 
these are people who do not forget to be recorded and not thrown away mixed in organically oh okay so it is bare like like this is like detective work just like detective work they see not the future minutes from now on this is minutes from now on okay yeah prediction and evaluation hmm. evaluative can be more useful in everyday life human kinds of prediction <laughs> what the hell is he playing? Yeah. connected <laughs> cook this eating in by himself <laughs> Yeah, it's like normal everyday life. <laughs> well, Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, exactly. Well, if you don't take any action, it is set in stone. But if you take it in action, hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, that is one thing I'm curious about. Three days into the field. House challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, again August 3rd. And here it is. There's no such future which is set in stone. He's more like predicting it. Wait, she didn't see his face, did she? She just saw the silhouette. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have to be there, like, watch the person. Oh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> well, and he is in trouble now. He messed with the wrong person, like... <laughs> he was too cocky, like he was like doing, saying stuff like, acting like a god.
Oh, final key. Oh, so that is not the future. He knew what that's going to happen. Something else is going to happen. Okay. Okay, this is from the like opening intro. Excuse me. Okay, let's see what's going to happen like from the intro it looked quite dangerous like those pellets were almost at Shiki's throat okay so that is like the future Oh! Wait, did he cut- did she like cut the future in itself? No, what did she do? Like- Oh! Sh she cut her- his power, like his ocular power, didn't she? She. Yeah, yeah, okay, so yeah, that was some real thing. Why this isn't the bomb bomb like exploding? Like what? Well, she she like cut it. You can't interfere with something that doesn't exist. Yeah, possibility of a future coming to pass. The evaluation is purging all possibilities and bringing to pass the future. It's purging all possibilities. Okay. A special ability that. All right. Which is invincible because it is form. Okay. Yeah. So he kind of like gave it a form. That's why like Shiki was able to cut it off. Mm-hmm. Well... She's a kid, little kid. Wait a minute, why did the bomb not explode before, like... Thirty first. Okay, that's a long time. <laughs> I had <laughs> loved and lost. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, she, okay, so she's seeing everything that happened. He knows everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> One hour. <laughs> yeah. Wait, who is this? Is this Azaka? It's Azaka, isn't it? Okay, so like... So she, so she that she, all right all right so she saw that as a vision as well it's night of okay all right so okay so that was also kind of a vision so Oh, I remember one thing, like, in, I think it was in movie 6 or something. Like, uh, in that movie, like, uh, like, she was, like, taking care of a dog. Like, was that her? Like, Seo? Yeah. Yeah, she was like hesitating before, but now after like seeing Kokuto and yeah. Okay, that was good. <coughs> There's more. Okay.
okay yeah what happened to him like Oh, he's like older now. And his eyes, let's, uh, it is like different. <clears throat> and yeah. Well, he lost his power. Future blessing intro. and bright who is this Mitsuru Mana Ojo Sama Oh no, she isn't mad <laughs> Ten, wow, she is young Oh, so did did he meet her? <laughs> oh my god, this guy looks. Oh wait, this is Toko's place, isn't it? <laughs> He's traumatized. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute, what? Like, this, this is her daughter?
Wait, what gang? Oh, yeah, he he knows her. Okay, so she is real, like her powers. <laughs> oh no, she's curious. Vampire steers. Okay, so all right, I kind of forgot. So, uh, like Shiki's family is from the like kind of like the gangster family, isn't it? So I was kind of like surprised. Like, why are they saying gangster? So I kind of then remembered again. And where is Kokuto? We did not see him. <laughs> and you should probably look where you're going. She looks a lot like Rin. Um, Rin Tosaka. And Asaka as well, like a weird mixture. Hmm. She, like, she looks the same, like, from that time. <laughs> she can see hmm Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh no. Fellow slips. <coughs> hmm. Oh, so she like now kind of predicts it.
leap future of your <laughs> oh my god, this girl. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, that's also kind of like my question. Like, she sounds tired and all. Fateful future.
This could have. Uh... Okay, let's see what happened here. Hmm. Two victims from the explosion. Hmm. So like Shiki kind of saved him and like went away. Dead. Yes. And let's see, Skokto Mana. Oh, Ryogi Mana. Oh, so like she took her mom's name, like surname. My father thanks you for it. Hmm. January thirty seven. Oh, this is the other Shiki.
Wait, so... Oh, so that's why she was saying that we met before, didn't we? And Shiki said that no, we did not. Yeah, so like, this is a time like when Okay, so like Yes, she has a good future. Hmm. <laughs> same, same thing that she said. Mm, it's the end. Okay, so okay, so one thing I was a bit confused because, like, they said that, um, like, uh, like he was caught by some gangsters, and I kind of forgotten. Like, uh, Shiki's family, I think, is most probably. Like from the um uh, yeah what can I say, I I don't think they're yakuza but I think they're like kind of similar to like some kind of like big shots in the, uh like town like some kind of, as I said gangsters or something like that, so like that's why she was like always kept under what can I say like surveillance and uh, like she was called Ojo Sama and as all like she had a butler and all. And I kind of like that went out of my mind and I was thinking like why the hell like are is uh, like Shiki like associated with gangsters then it kind of came into my mind like yeah his her family itself is like a gangster family okay yeah this song is good
Okay, so yeah, uh, that was kind of like um, made me kind of like think like what was what the hell was happening. Then I myself realized that uh, it was nothing like did like it was nothing. Uh, wow, the song is quite good. Yeah, so uh, then it kind of came to my mind that yeah, this is nothing unusual because her family itself is like a family like that, and I didn't, like I didn't want to see, just see how like Kokto look after. Like time skip, but they did not show him. Uh, they kind of showed uh, a glimpse of Shiki, uh, like after like the time skip. And I'm guessing like uh, that is their like daughter. And uh, I think like um, her eyes uh, like resembles Kokuto's. I I'll check that out later on, like after it ends. So, like when. Um, like I was really surprised when like uh, what was his name um, uh, the bomber man uh, I forgot his name I'll check it out uh, like when Shiki saved him she was quite young he was quite young and after that like after 10 years uh, like he grew up and things like that happened so like what can I say like uh, I did not expect him to be like so young when he was like doing all of the terrorisms and all so yeah like this movie had a lot of things going on I I'll check it out like one by one after it ends like there are a few like portions where I kind of got like uh, like what can I say I kind of get puzzled and confused about a few things I'll check it out because uh, like there are a few portions like, there were, there's a lot of information in this uh, movie and this is kind of like a proper epilogue even though like they did not show Kokuto and like Mikia and Shiki together but I'm guessing it Wow, this song is great. Yeah, perfect for like the epilogue. Like this is like a, what can I say? Um, a, what can I, a, a, like what can I say? A, um, like a very bright song. Like it has that kind of like vibes of uh, Kano Kyokai that usually the Kano Kyokai ha songs have, but it's also kind of like bright and all. Okay. Before table. And I'm guessing like this is the last movie. If I'm wrong, uh, like be sure to correct me down in the comments. Is there anything more? I really wanted to see Ko like Mikia for the last time. Oh, they're still showing this. This is the other sheet, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, it's the end. I really wanted to see Mikia for the last time. But, yeah. Okay, so this was the episode, uh, the movie. And, uh, okay, let me just check one thing. And, uh, Just a sec. I'm 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 just checking like uh wait a minute. Yeah. Uh mana has Mikia's eyes. Uh li like light br like blue and everything. Yeah, she has Mikia's eyes. Okay, so yeah, that was a good episode, and I I did not expect like uh, 
like take this uh, what can i say movie uh, taking like the way it it was done like they showed uh, a lot of things a lot of things from the past then again from the future and the past and then uh, finally it kind of showed uh, what happened like after the af like aftermath in the aftermath and after everything that happened and uh, okay so let's talk about this episode first of all um uh, we get to see a new character that is seo and uh, she is like uh, a someone who uh, what can i say see the future like she thought the secret she can uh, see the future and like from the like movie as far as i could understand like, there are two types of like seeing the future uh, number one is where you kind of like uh, predict things uh, which is uh, like similar to Seo's power like she is like uh, as she said that uh, you're basically saying that I have a good memory like she sees everything and kind of like predicts what's going to happen later on and uh, like uh, because of that good memory and everything she can what can I say um, like predict whatever that's going to happen and I think the thing that he's, she said about uh, the question and answers of like test papers I think like sh uh, like she like did not actually like see the question paper and all she just has good memory so like that is the reason why like whenever she like went into like to do a test and everything she like had good marks and she thought that she was predicting it but no she basically has a good memory so like everything that she like sees and everything that uh, like she studied uh, she can do that. So that is one thing that kind of confused me. I thought like uh, like if the thing that were Kokoro was saying was correct, like she did not have like that power, but she like basically predicted everything. So how the hell can she like predict the question papers? But no, as Kokoro said that she had a good memory, and that is kind of the reason why I think uh, I like this is my like uh, take on this. Like that is the reason why like she had no problem with quest like answering questions. Uh, like she thought that she was predicting it, uh, like she was seeing the future, but no, she was basically like had a good memory and learned, was like learning it every, everything. And she thought as if like yeah, this is my uh, like some kind of power, but that was not it. And uh, uh, but uh, like also I think that kind of like took um, what can I say? But uh, if like uh, that was the only thing with her, like uh, she had a good memory and she like predicted everything. Then uh, one question is like how was she able to predict uh, the uh, what can I say the accident like I can kind of understand her dog's death because like uh, like that can be uh, like related to prediction because she saw like her dog uh, like uh, coming out and uh, everything obviously like her dog was probably a lot old and probably like at almost at his or her deathbed so she kind of like predicted and thought that yeah my dog is probably probably going to die uh, and that kind of happened because obviously his her dog uh, like was going to die because uh, probably she was old or some had some like something must have happened and she kind of predicted that i can like uh, relate it to prediction but one thing i cannot relate to prediction is like how was she able to like predict the accident because he didn't even know the person he just like uh, like kind of bumped into him and like got a vision that he's going to like uh, get crushed by a truck and there were like no signs of truck nothing so like how was she able to do that like that does not seem like a basic prediction so like did i miss something or like misunderstand something in there because as far as I can understand, I think like Kokoro said something like that. Like that was like basically uh, something that was nothing. Like she said, he said that you're not special at all. This is just something that you're predicting. And uh, yeah. And another thing is like uh, that was like uh, the thing with uh, Seo. And the other, other thing was like uh, with uh, the Bomberman. He like had... I think a, a kind of like an ocular power which is why like Shiki was able to like cut it off like as she said that uh, like because you are not predicting this you have to be like present at the place where the things are going to happen like she has to like he has to observe whatever is happening uh, if he wants his like the things that he predicted or uh, the uh, future that he saw to come true. Uh, that is was kind of his power so the thing that she he did was as he said like i think like um his left eye 
uh, saw the like present and his right eye kind of like saw the future what's going to happen so like he saw like he predicted he saw the futures he foresee the futures and uh, he for example he saw something like uh, is going to like someone is going to die like this and unless and until he is present there and looking at that person during the time of his death uh, unless and until he does that his future might not come true or is it something like that because uh, from Shiki's words I kind of like came into that conclusion and uh, I think uh, like that is the reason why like he was like seeing using uh, his binoculars to check it out and uh, like uh, all of those things and in that parking lot when Shiki came in uh, <coughs> Like when he like uh, like he saw what's going to happen like that uh, like the thing that the uh, in the bridge where she like uh, and where he blew up the uh, car and Shiki kind of like evaded that uh, he that that was like a key point to whatever she was going to happen to Shiki later like after seeing that he thought that yeah this thing came true that means whatever is going to I saw later on Shiki Z was also going to come true so she, he like uh, uh, went to the parking lot and was like sitting there patiently then Shiki came in and when he was going to like uh, like he was seeing at that time what's going to happen like uh, it was being shown that uh, Shiki is being like uh, like being killed or something like that or being injured at that time like uh, his ocular powers came into being and it became a thing a, a, like a thing in the real world and Shiki took the chance to cut off that and by cutting that power off it indirectly kind of like cut off his eyes as well and his ocular power kind of like went away and uh, I think that is what happened I might be wrong if I am wrong please be sure to correct me in the comments because um yeah so uh so basically the thing is like seo the uh, thing that seo was calling like a uh, like a power or a future uh, like thing uh that was basically like his uh, like he, she was not uh, special in any ways that was like basically her like predicting stuff and that coming true and so she was kind of not the real deal but uh, uh like uh the guy like bomberman he was kind of like the real deal and uh, she he really had uh, like a power and uh, m m mother of Mifune uh, she was also the uh, real deal as like he said like the bomber man said later on excuse me that uh, uh, like like she also said that we were fellow seers like uh, he she knew that he was also he had that power so yeah and uh, another thing uh, I have to like check it out is excuse me God damn. Ha, yeah another thing I have to check out is like when uh, like Seo went back to her what was that um, uh, host like her school um, just a sec where was that yeah here it is like I am kind of like what can I say was that Azaka like I'm thinking like that was Azaka let me just check it again yeah like so she was kind of like a new student let me just check uh, again okay yeah guys I kind of checked that portion out uh, that was Azaka isn't it like uh, the faces are like so similar I really like got confused so yeah I think that was Azaka and uh, <clears throat> so like another thing like I kind of like got reminded like in one of the movies uh, like which was centered around Azaka in that movie um, we kind of like saw like uh, Azaka g giving um, what can I say uh, Shiki a place to like sleep in in her dormitory in in her room and she said that uh, my roommate is i think uh, like out or something and like left her dog with her and so that roommate was Seo wasn't it so yeah i think that uh, the, like that was kind of like a thing uh, i might be wrong if i'm wrong please be sure to correct me and okay so yeah that was also kind of like the thing that was kind of um, 
what can I see? Uh, kind of like bugging me. So I checked it out again. And uh, another thing is like, uh, just a sec. Okay, here it is. Like, uh, uh, here's this thing with Mitsuru. Like, he says that I got into a lot of debt and had to uh, face my creditors. And this was the time after, like, he like lost his power and everything. And the problem was the boss of the said creditors was a rather influential per person around these parts. Okay. And gangster at that. Okay, and the guy who is sitting here, I think uh, that guy was probably the butler, isn't it? Uh, of Shiki, like who, with the sunglass. Uh, yeah, and a gangster at that. And then like Shiki comes in. And he stands up. And then like, uh, he turns around. Here it is. Yeah, Shiki comes in. The vampire steers and Mana with the book. Kamekura Sensei. Yeah. Uh, this girl, Mana, was Big Boss's only daughter. Big Boss. I'm guessing uh, uh, like the Big Boss is Shiki. <laughs> because obviously like she was going to inherit her like and so I became a member of their gang and lived to see another day. Okay. And then Shiki comes and... Why this is fortunate? We were just looking to acquire a detective agency. You have the skills, right? Okay, and another thing. Um, was this like uh, the per place where uh, he was sitting? Was that uh, like uh, Aozaki's office? Like I kind of like f thought it was like it felt similar. I might be wrong. There are a lot of things like scattered around in this uh, movie here and there. And like then they kind of like uh, meet with uh, the mother of Mifune again and like they have like that kind of like a conversation and uh, yeah the, like uh, this episode was a lot what can i say um a lot it had a lot of like information and another thing we got to know in this uh, like movie was that uh, shiki like uh, the other shiki the male shiki when he was uh, there so he was like kind of like conflicted after like uh, if you like if like if you guys remember in that uh, ep like almost at the first no second movie uh, like he had a conversation with kokuto in the classroom and after like uh, like uh, they kind of like talked and everything and he went out with him and uh, after that i think he was kind of conflicted with everything so uh, like he so like after like strolling ar around after like he came in contact with mother of mifune he asked like what's in my future and he like mother of mifune said that you're going to die and you can't stop that and he like I think he was kind of planning to what can I say go away and was looking for the, the chance for it and uh, yeah and uh, after hearing that he kind of like thought that yeah uh, like uh, my plan is going to be like succeeding and all and then uh, like another thing that Mother of Mifune said that even if you die you have a good future and uh, like she was also i think confused about that because like if you die everything's over so how can you have a good future after that but obviously shiki knew that yeah like he kind of understood what's going to happen so like he went away and uh, also that is also the reason why like after the, after like later on when shiki comes to mother of mifune again she says that have we met each other and shiki says that no we haven't and uh, obviously like uh, she would not know because the other shiki met her so like that was the uh, kind of thing and uh, yeah and that was uh, like another thing that we saw and uh, i really wanted to see kokuto for the last time like after like the time skip but unfortunately we did not see it but we can probably guess like <laughs> what like he is probably the same uh, with the glasses and all <laughs> calm and everything and but we uh, like actually at least we kind of saw shiki after the time skip and their daughter as well so yeah that was kind of nice 
and uh, yeah so that was this movie and i'm guessing like uh uh he's uh, like mana said that my name is uh, ryogi uh, mana so like she took her mom's uh, like surname uh, like the rogue obviously uh, like now that i think about it obviously she was going to take her mom's uh, surname because like her like family the ryogi family was like as they said like influential family and everything so like uh, kokoto had to marry into their house i think so that is the reason why i think like uh, like she took her mom's uh, name uh, like a maiden name surname uh, okay so yeah and okay there were a lot of things and uh, as i said before like I, there are a few little bit of confusions here and there uh, number one is that uh, what is like the true nature of a uh, sales power uh, like um, i i think like as i said before like i think that is more like uh, advanced type of prediction but one thing is uh, like kind of like uh, making me curious is that how was she able to predict uh, the death of uh, not the death but the accident of the man in the street like uh, like all of the things i can kind of like say that yeah this those were predictions but how can she predict so much so like is that some kind of prediction or was did she really had some kind of power so that is my question but so another like yeah that is kind of like my real confusion here and other than that everything is i kind of I can understand what's what happened it was a nice little epilogue and uh, yeah i expected a little bit more because i i really wanted to see like them together and like happily ever after something like that but obviously like this is karano kyoka you will always get some kind of what can i say um uh symbolisms and some kind of like they are not going to say everything clearly you have to like uh understand it or like predict it and uh, so i think like uh, like this movie like took that kind of path but anyways like yeah this was like more like uh, an epilogue and uh, i'm satisfied uh, i would have been more satisfied if like they kind of showed them together but uh like you can't get everything so yeah so yeah guys that was my reaction to this movie uh, uh movie number 9 of kano kyokai uh, this was mirai fuki and uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and uh, comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share oh also another thing is that uh, like i've seen like in the previous um like in the previous movie i kind of like said in the like to write down in the comment section if you guys have kind any kind of like uh, suggestions for anime movies or anything that you want me to react to and uh, like i've uh, like i've seen one suggestion that is like uh, uh, what was it called dempateki no kanojo and uh, i'll be doing it uh, like uh, the plot like the summary kind of like intrigued me and uh, i'll be doing it uh, i think it is like kind of like in an ova format so i'll probably be doing it and if you guys have any other like uh, things you want me to react to uh, anime movies uh, be sure to comment down below and uh, also the, the thing that i uh, said that uh, the question that i have in this movie the thing about like prediction the future thing uh, if you guys have like answer to that or as well be sure to comment down below and if i'm wrong about anything about anything and i'm misunderstanding something be sure to correct me down as well so yeah guys the, that was karno kyokai movie uh, uh, movie number 9 and this like brings an end to karano kyokai i really enjoyed my whole uh, what can i say journey of karano kyokai and it was a really what can i say interesting movie uh, and as i like as i said before i am a big fan of the typhoon franchise <laughs> excuse me and uh, this was um, what can i say a really interesting type of movie that i got my chance to see and uh, yeah like overall this was a like amazing journey and i enjoy enjoyed each and every like uh, movie and everything that i saw uh, related to karno kyokai and uh, yeah so that was it so yeah guys i'll be back with a new movie reaction next week i'll be i'll probably be doing uh, dempathy no karno jo next week so yeah so until then goodbye and have a nice day